Hi everyone, my name is Ken. Welcome to This House. Today we are counting down the top five Victorian styles in North America. Let us know which style is your favorite in the comments. We're starting off at number five, Gothic Revival. Starting around 1840, the Gothic Revival style became wildly popular across North America as the first Victorian style to come into fashion. The style was based on the likeness of grand European castles and cathedrals. We can identify a Gothic Revival style house by its steeply pitched roof, windows with pointed arches, lancet windows, verge board trim lining the edges of the roof, and other features may include high set dormers protruding from the roof and board and batten siding run vertically along the facade. Number 4. Italianette Between the 1860s and 1870s, the Italianette style was most popular in North America. The Italianette style came into fashion when wealthy Americans traveled over to Europe. On their grand tours, they took with them inspiration from country villas of Northern Italy. Oftentimes, Italianettes would be asymmetrical to exaggerate their size and to appear more like the ancient villas of Italy that had been expanded on by many generations. This style can be characterized by its low-pitched or flat roofs, large corbels lining the cornice, and sometimes includes a large tower known as a cupola. Number 3. Second Empire The Second Empire style was popular around the same time period that Italianettes were in fashion. In Paris, France, new building codes were set in place limiting the number of floors a building could have. To get around this building code, architect Francois Mansart invented the Mansard roof to conceal an extra story under a roof. This effectively worked as a loophole for adding an extra story to a house in Paris. Wealthy Americans saw the style and replicated it in the major cities across the Northeast and the Midwest. Subsequently, a good handful of Italianate houses were updated to Second Empire style by having a mansard roof added to the tops of the homes. The mansard roof is primarily what constitutes the Second Empire style, though the style is often accompanied by cast iron details on the facade of the house or along the top of the roof line. Number 2. Queen Anne Moving on to the time period between 1880 and 1910, the Queen Anne style dominated Victorian architecture. This is probably the style of house that comes to mind when people think about Victorian houses, with elaborate detailing, large bay windows, wraparound porches, turrets, stained glass, and roof finials, elaborate brackets, and astonishingly unique and towering chimneys, the Queen Anne style embodies the full flair of the Victorian era. The most popular colors for Queen Anne homes when they were built would have been earth tones, such as burnt yellow, muddy brown, hunter green, and sienna red. Many Queen Anne homes have been updated over the years to feature bright colors or an all-white facade. Number 1. Folk Victorian Folk Victorian is the most popular of the Victorian styles. While all of the styles that were mentioned before were created by professional architects, the Folk Victorian style was primarily created by middle-class Americans who wanted to have a beautiful house that would be considered fashionable. The houses tended to be smaller with less ornate embellishments, but also feature a wider variety of styles and finishes than their upper crust counterparts. It can be hard to pinpoint exactly what style a full Victorian house is, however, you can look at the hodgepodge of styles and its more modest size to identify a full Victorian. These house styles were just my personal top 5 Victorian house styles. Do you have a favorite Victorian style that I did not mention? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time on This House.